You are watching part two of the video series on Java 11 features. Let's look at some key concepts and terms regarding the HTTP client API in this session. Each term here is explained using example. Please bookmark this video for future reference. Pause wherever necessary to take a closer look. In Java 11, the HTTP client API was introduced as a modern alternative to the HTTP URL connection API, providing a more flexible and powerful way to send HTTP requests and handle responses. These are some of the key features and improvements of the HTTP client API in Java 11. Asynchronous requests. The HTTP client API supports asynchronous HTTP requests using the send async method, which returns a completable future HTTP response. HTTP2 support. The HTTP client API supports HTTP2 out of the box, providing better performance compared to HTTP 1.1. WebSocket support. The HTTP client API includes built-in support for WebSocket, allowing you to establish WebSocket connections and send slash receive messages. Response body handling. The body handlers class provides various static factory methods for handling response bodies, such as of string, for handling the response body as a string of input stream, for handling the response body as an input stream and a file, for saving the response body to a file. Customization. The HTTP client API allows you to customize various aspects of the HTTP request, such as setting headers, timeouts, authentication, and proxy settings. Cookie management. The HTTP client API includes built-in support for managing cookies, allowing you to send and receive cookies as part of HTTP requests and responses. Redirect handling. The HTTP client API handles redirects automatically by default, but you can customize the redirect behavior if needed. Connection pooling. The HTTP client API uses a connection pool by default, which helps improve performance by reusing existing connections. Here's an example that demonstrates how to use the HTTP client API to send a simple HTTP GET request and print the response body. In this example, we create an instance of HTTP client using HTTP client dot new HTTP client, then create an HTTP request object representing an HTTP get request to a specific URL. We then use client dot send async request HTTP response body handlers dot of string to asynchronously send the request and receive a completable future HTTP response string representing the response. Finally, we use future dot then apply HTTP response body to extract the response body as a string and print it to the console. Hope this was helpful for you. Please check out our playlist for more videos and also like and subscribe our channel for more such informative content. Good luck.